Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you the top five best widgets to include in your sidebar on a WordPress site. So uh, let's just go ahead and scroll down here and we can see the five widgets set up on the right. Some are actually built straight into WordPress, which they should be because they're very useful, and others you can access with many different kinds of third-party plugins. Like always with WordPress, if there's something you have a need for, there's a good chance there's a plugin out there that can help you out. So first off, categories. So this widget basically displays all of the categories that your posts um, have under WordPress. So it's similar to tags, except that generally you only have one category and you have multiple tags. So a category should really be used for the defining term uh, that really links a post to other posts on that site. So, for instance, on ChrisTutorials.com, WordPress is a category, um, as could be around the web, gaming content, or making money online, those kind of things. And uh, because I loaded the test content onto the site, there's a lot more categories than you really should ever have on a website. Um, but what this allows you to do, or it allows your users to do, rather, is to easily access the type of content they're looking for at the time that they click onto the site. So they might click on uh, a Google link and end up on a site about, uh, on a page about WordPress, but then they want more WordPress content. So if you have categories, then they can see WordPress over on the site and easily access all of the other WordPress content on your website. So it might be a bit obvious, but it's definitely one that you want. Uh, next up, social icon widgets. I know there's a lot of different plugins out there that can do this. Um, some have more options available than others. Some are a bit more flashy than uh, this one down here. But with any social icons uh, plugin that allows you to put sidebar widgets, which is most of them, uh, you can basically link to all the other pages you have that tie into your website out there on the internet. So you might have a Google Plus profile, a Tumblr, a Twitter, um, I think you might even be able to put a PayPal as a social icon, YouTube, of course, a big one. And each of those sites that you use frequently that you want to uh, either talk to your followers on or you want to get new followers on, uh, basically anywhere you're interacting with people out there on the web, it's a good idea to have it as a social icon on your sidebar so that people who like your content can follow you on those sites and get more frequent updates from you. Uh, basically kind of bringing them back, reminding them that you still exist, and hopefully getting return visits to your website. Uh, kind of to go along with that, it's also a good idea to link back to your website on those social profiles. So it's like a cross-promotion type thing. Okay, number three, search. So um, one of the best ways to find content, as we know, since everybody pretty much uses Google Search or DuckDuckGo or any kind of search engine, uh, just typing in a message and having um, basically a search engine find content for you based on the keywords you put in is one of the best ways to find content on the web. So the idea behind having a search bar like this on your own website is that your users can search through specifically your content. So it's even uh, allowing you to go more precise than categorized uh, categories. Maybe you want to just put in the term 2017 and uh, you can find all the content that has the title 2017 in it. That's a good, uh, a good thing you could do there. Or maybe you want WordPress and 2017, which individually you can get those with categories and down here with archives, which is my next uh, widget for the sidebar. Uh, but in the search, you can get very specific with it. And that's why search is great. And you should definitely have search on your website, if not in your sidebar. Uh, the header is another good area for that. Next up, uh, archives. This, uh, this one might not be used quite as much as uh, categories or search, but it's still a very good way for uh, basically going through content. It, it also depends a little bit on what kind of website you're running. Uh, some of those uh, blogs that are a bit more talkative, um, readers might want to see kind of the evolution of your content. They might want to go back to the beginning and read from there, uh, especially if there's like a storyline or anything like that. So by Having archives by month, um, basically people can find the content from any time in the past you were writing it. And uh, one other example might be if they remember a very specific article coming out, let's just say in April of 2017, this month, um, 
but it's been like three or four months and they can't quite remember much about it except that it came out in April. So this is another way they can filter and find that same piece of content. Um, but yeah, uh, maybe not quite as useful as categories because uh, categories, of course, similar content and you do have to kind of know the date of what you're looking for. Unless, of course, you're looking for something from a very specific month, but it's still a good thing to have in your sidebar. And then next up, uh, newsletter widgets. So um, there are a few plugins that do this, um, such as literally called newsletter in the WordPress plugin store. And by having a widget in your sidebar, you're able to collect people's uh, mailing addresses uh, where basically they subscribe to your blog and whenever you send out a newsletter, it's going to end up in their email and they'll be able to basically get updates about the site. Now, how you actually implement that newsletter is kind of up to you and beyond the scope of this video. Um, but having a box to subscribe is probably the first step in uh, doing that. Because, of course, if you don't even have a subscriber base, what's the point of having a newsletter to begin with? So uh, having this somewhere on your site, if it, and the sidebar is a great place for that, is uh, definitely something you want or need, absolutely required, I would say, if you want to have any kind of newsletter going out from your site. So those are the top five widgets, I think, uh, pretty much apply to just about any site out there. Categories, social media icons, of which there are many plugins you can install to get that widget. Search, built in, archives, built in, and newsletter. Once again, uh, many plugins out there that do similar functions. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching this video on the top five best widgets for the sidebar in 2017 for WordPress. And I will see you all in my future video content.